I have a timely word that I believe the Lord would have me share with you. I uh, had a dream uh, in the early mornings, uh, uh, early morning uh, hours of today, this morning, and um, it was in this dream, uh, there were two households and uh, they were moving and I was overseeing the move. Uh, so there was a flurry of activity. There were movers that came. Um, there was prayer said, offered before the movers started uh, uh, gathering up the things that they were going to move into the trailer. Uh, instead of a large moving van, uh, the receptacle or the, the van uh, that was to contain two households of furnishings and uh, of livelihood was like a, a, a U-Haul trailer. It was quite small, uh, maybe 15 or 20 feet. I think the largest U-Haul uh, trailer in the United States is about 26 feet. Um, so it's far from a tractor trailer uh, or a moving van. Uh, and there were two households. So I had gone next door to the second house, which I knew was the grandmother of the family. Um, I knew it because in the in the dream vision actually uh, it was my um, uh, mother-in-law who died a number of years ago but she was the grandmother of my children and in her home there were playthings you know like a whole setup for children to play a little kitchen and a table and chairs and things for a doll little high chair and all kinds of things and as one of the movers one of the helpers was attempting to uh, grab those things to move I said no uh, that can't go. There's not room for that to go. And it, it really broke my heart. It was a really hard decision uh, because I knew on the other end those things would be missed. Uh, but they were, were minor things compared with the essentials that needed to be made room for. Um, and that pretty much ended the dream, the, the dream vision. And We've been hearing from a number of prophetic voices um, that this is a time that there uh, there are actual moves. Uh, people are moving from one job to another, uh, from one home to another, from one state to another. That that there is something uh, spiritual that's going on, and I think we've all felt that. Um, and so I was pondering this, and the Lord, uh, I believe. Uh, gave the interpretation that yes indeed uh, this is a time uh, where he is moving he is on the move God himself is moving and he is instructing his people uh, um, how to prepare and to uh, uh, pare down uh, to be able to move with him and he's being very clear if we're listening and seeking him about that which is necessary uh, that which is truly necessary uh, and that which isn't. I know in January of this year, um, he told me to, to clean out my closets and I, I got a good start on that, but this is certainly indicative of, of what he's doing spiritually as well as physically. Uh, we read in the book of Exodus and we're all expecting uh, a great exodus of the uh, children of God, of the remnant uh, from this world system from the things that have been holding us back and, and uh, the, the hold that the enemy has had on our lives. Uh, and it's written in the book of Exodus 12. And Pharaoh arose in the night. This is after all the plagues except the last one, which was uh, death, came to the household of Pharaoh and all of the people in Egypt except for the children of Israel. And Pharaoh and all of his servants and all of the Egyptians. And there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was no home where there was not someone dead. Then he called for Moses and Aaron at night. And he said, rise up, get out from among my people, both you and the sons of Israel, and go worship uh, uh, the Lord as you have said. Take your flocks and your herds as you have said, but go. Go now and bless me also. So the children of Israel, now the sons of Israel, verse 35, had done according to the word of Moses to prepare. Uh, for they had requested for, from the Egyptians articles of silver and articles of gold and clothing. 
and the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they let them have their request. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. We've talked about that before. Now the sons of Israel journeyed. Um, uh, so the people, this is verse 34, the people took their dough before it was leavened with their kneading bowls bound up in the clothes on their shoulders. So they basically left in haste at night with the clothes on their back and their kneading bowls and the gold and silver they had requested from their neighbors. And, and of course, there were herds and cattle that were, uh, uh, I'm sure, a, a community situation that they shared. Uh, but that was it. They, they left uh, in haste. Um, uh, so we see that they were prepared. They had followed the instructions of the Lord through Moses. Leviticus 26.10 tells us, in the land that you are going to possess. I will turn toward you and make you fruitful and multiply you. And I will confirm my covenant with you. And you will eat the old supply and clear out the old because of the new. So there is a clearing out of the old to make place, to make way for the new. We know in the natural that before you bring new things into your home, uh, whether it's whether it's food, whether it's clothes, uh, whatever the new possessions, you have to make room. Uh, if you're like me, you go through and, and clear out the old things uh, so that you can make room for what's new, what's coming in. Um, and I believe the Lord is clearly telling us um, that that it's time to make way. It's time to move out the old. Uh, if you remember from the dream, uh, my mother-in-law or the grandmother of my children uh, represented a, a generation and things that she possessed uh, that that uh, there had to be a decision made about do we bring these things forward? Uh, do we pack them up? Do we, do we send them on? Uh, do they go with us? Uh, well, no, they weren't to go forward. They weren't to go forward. In fact, uh, Jesus or the Lord through uh, Isaiah says clearly in Isaiah 43, 18, and this is an admonition to us today. Do not call to mind the former things or ponder things of the past. Behold, I will do something new. Now it will spring forward. Will you not be aware of it? I will even make a roadway in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So it's time to move out. The Lord, the, the cloud, the, the glory is moving. If we want to move with it, we have to be sure that we're leaving behind those things that will not go forward into the kingdom, whether they're mindsets, whether they're old grievances, whether they're, they're wrongs that we would like to see righted, both uh, on a large worldwide scale uh, or certainly a personal scale. Um, there are people that are holding on to uh, past hurts, uh, past disappointments, mindsets, uh, that things that, 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 that were wrong, that went wrong in their lives or, or perhaps the lives of their family or their, or their, um, their people uh, that they identify with. Uh, but these aren't the things that are going forward in the kingdom. Behold, He will make all things right. He, the Lord, will make all things new. So ask the Lord, get with the Lord, and ask Him to examine your heart, Holy Spirit, and tell me what it is uh, that I'm holding on to uh, spiritually, uh, a mindset, wrong thinking, um, wrong attitudes, wrong speaking, uh, physically, is there something in my life that I'm not to, to keep hold of, that I'm not to hold on to, that you've been uh, really quickening to me for uh, days, months, and maybe years uh, to, to clear out, to get rid of, to let go. So by, I just release grace to you, just grace, grace for the letting go of those things that don't really matter, that aren't going forward into the new thing that God is doing. So be blessed, 
be empowered, be strengthened by the very grace of God in Jesus' name.